Greetings, friends. My name is Jim Bellow, and I live in upstate New York. We happen to have a very strong Course in Miracles community here in this rural setting near Cooperstown, New York, which is a pretty terrific thing. It's been going on for quite a few years, actually. Well, we have assembled a small team, and we've come up with an interesting idea. We're going to offer this September the first ever Course in Miracles workshop in Lourdes, France. There is the cover to our modules. Uh, there is Mary right down there. There's the Enneagram up there. So I'd like to explain a little bit about what, what this workshop would entail. Uh, there will be eight modules over four days that we will do two a day and uh, this is what will be covered. Um, Lourdes, France is a global pilgrimage site and has been the place uh, where many miracles have occurred. If you've ever been to a global energy site uh, like Sedona, Arizona or uh, you know some of the others around the world, there's a remarkable energy in Lourdes. It is, uh, if you want to use coarse terms, you could say it's a vertical city. It's a city based in the idea of faith and healing and being there for each other. Uh, it's, a, it's just a remarkable place. And it, 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 if one could combine the power of A Course in Miracles with the energy of Lourdes, it's something that could really be a quite an excellent combination. So on September 8th through the 11th of this year, 2018, we're going to meet uh, on the 7th and begin on the 8th and work for four days. Uh, the morning modules will, will concern the Enneagram. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Enneagram, that's okay because we're going to have a very gentle introduction to it and we will not be using it to study the uh, personality types. After all, Mary had no personality. <laughs> um, but she did appear to a young peasant girl named Bernadette Subriou uh, 18 times in fewer than six months. And the key number there is 18. Turns out there was an inner design in her working of the situation. And it can be seen through the Enneagram, which is basically the law of seven and the law of three, mystically speaking, combined together to show how virtually every process that is successfully completed in this uh, realm of time and space in the physical universe works. So we will get an introduction to the, to the Enneagram and it would be a marvelous basis to learn the Enneagram this way if you do later want to work with the personality types. Uh, because the inner flow of the, the Law of Seven and the Law of Three through, through the, uh, the complete octave of Nine is, um, is really a remarkable thing. It, 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 uh, it can really be helpful in life, actually. There's a very practical side to it. Uh, so uh, the 18 appearances can be diagrammed on the Enneagram. We're going to work on that. The afternoon modules will will be around um, the course a course in miracles. Now, everything that the Catholic Church does right is on display in Lourdes. There, the place is remarkable. It's hard to describe. There's a 120 acre domain where the processions occur at night and there's plenty of elbow room for everybody. We will be there uh, just after the peak of the season, not right in the middle of it, which is important. Uh, and so, so we can use the, um, just the, the remarkable occurrences of what goes on between people, among people. Uh, there's a remarkable number of volunteers and, uh, and to uh, just mix with the uh, general situation is uh, it's quite an experience. Um, I have a, a, a very interesting backstory regarding Lourdes, which I won't go into right now, but I was actually gifted a trip to Lourdes in, in, tw in uh, 2003, which is a great story in and of itself. So 
the Catholic Church does many things right, and um, the Catholic dogma is something that uh, is contains a lot of marvelous things, but there are certain areas that need uh, correction, and th that if if we can see them correctly, can really make the complete picture of the religion uh, a quite a marvelous thing. Imagine being able to walk down the streets of Lourdes uh, completely free in my mind of judgment, to, to not be judging, not be weeding out in my mind the impressions based on my personal likes and dislikes. It's quite a thing. So The Course in Miracles has, um, has the corrected view of three important things related to a, a domain like Lourdes, um, prayer, sin, and faith. Uh, and so we're going to explore in our afternoon modules how to see these things in, in the overall picture of how A Course in Miracles uh, describes the, the complete way to look at uh, the entire creation of the, uh, of the universe. And so uh, these things are, um, are going to be addressed in a very serious Course in Miracles related way um, uh, in the setting of Lourdes, which, which is just a remarkable combination. And the third thing we will look at it seriously is something that came from the uh, sequel to A Course in Miracles, which is uh, A Course of Love, a book scribed by Marie Perron. And there's something quite unique in that book that uh, really helped me when I came across it. There's something called the Way of Mary versus the Way of Jesus. Uh, the Way of Jesus is really what is described in A Course in Miracles. But uh, this, this idea of the way of Mary, which is a quieter way to, uh, to, to get to total freedom, it actually is the one that um, applies to more people than the way of Jesus. And so we're going to study that as well, of course, in this perfect setting. Uh, so uh, I would encourage you to uh, contact us. Uh, we have a small team. We can help with travel arrangements. Uh, if you wish, we're going to have a little fun before and after the, after the uh, seminar. And so um, here's the contact information and the dates. Um, you can contact me through, uh, through Facebook uh, and or this email address, ACIM in Lords and at gmail.com. Uh, there are the dates. And so please consider uh, knocking Lords off your bucket list because it's well worth it. It's, uh, no matter what happens in the seminar, visiting Lourdes is a trip of a lifetime. It's in southern France in the Pyrenees Mountains. So um, uh, please feel free to contact us and we will uh, uh, just continue the dialogue and uh, see what we can do and, and what, goes, what goes from here. Uh, one love, my brothers and sisters. Thank you.